Welcome to The Dirty South Grudge Stars of Tomorrow. The Dirty South Grudge Stars of Tomorrow. The Sports Edition. The Dirty South Grudge Stars of Tomorrow. The Sports Edition. We got the phenoms. Where you can be a kid today and a star tomorrow. The Dirty South Grudge Stars of Tomorrow. Happens, happens now. now. 25 breaks a couple of tackles. And look at him go! He could go all the way! Touchdown! 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 Number 11, Jeremiah Branscombe. Number 22, Trey Richardson. And number 58, Tamarion Farley. For the Hardaway Hawks.
picking for the Carver Tigers, number 26, Colin Hunter. What? Hey! That's my ride or die. Oh, <laughs> 
Now you drop four touchdowns. What was your inspiration? We came out a little slow, and we came, we sped up. I just, uh, we just trying to get the rain this year. So, what was your expectation going to tonight's game? Chain 60. That was close. We were close. So, tell us about your four touchdowns, man. Tell us about that first one. First one. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you think you had four touchdowns tonight? I mean, you know that. You know it. Yeah, for them things. So what you got for us next week? We, we about three, four. Oh, hey, we, hey, we in here next week. We gonna see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He gonna have four. Hey. I want to see Mr. Ski here with the one and only Pierre Coffin, Coach Coffin. Had a phenomenal run last year. Really? Y'all back at it again this year. What was y'all game plan going to tonight's game? Um, we, we really just wanted to kind of work on ourselves and get better. If, you know at the things that we do. Um, I, I wanted to see our guys play a complete game, get sort of all facets of the game. Um, and we did that for the most part, but it, we still got to get better. There's a lot of things that I thought that I saw that I thought we need to get better at. Um, I was pleased with you know how we kind of took the field versus Lee County last week. Yes, sir. I think we came out in the first half and you know really took it to them. Um, so I, I was pleased with that. Um, just our energy and how we you know how we tackled. And, and tonight, I thought we kind of came out flat, but we kind of picked it up. So, you know, one week at a time, one day at a time, and we'll get up. So, Coach, did any player stand out to you tonight? Because uh, I got to give him a cross, my boy, Matthew Mungin. Yeah. He, yeah. he had a good showing tonight. He did. Matthew, uh, for, for his first official, yeah, first you know, official high, high school, school start. Game, start, yeah, he did, he did very well. Um, he managed well. You know, he made a couple plays with his feet, and so that's all we can ask. Um, I thought Deontay Child, man, he was phenomenal in the first half. I think he had three. Three yeah, rushing touchdowns. Yeah, four in total to close the night. Wow. I didn't know that. I, yeah, so I we knew it was three in the beginning. Yes, sir. So, um, but, you know, receivers caught the ball well. Tristan Gibbons made a big play, oh, yeah. uh, real big time play, about a 60 yard touchdown. Um, so, you know, we just got to keep getting better. And, I, and the thing is, it's a team full of sophomores just about. So, you know, yes, we, we're going to have those growing pains. We're going to make those mistakes. But we just got to get better each and every day and each week. So, Coach, what's the game plan going to the infamous Heritage Bowl next week against, you know, a school that you used to coach? Absolutely. Be in charge of these Spencer Greenway. Absolutely. Uh, be the same thing, just working, getting better at, you know, perfecting our craft. Um, just making sure that, you know, we don't give up, you know, cheap points and yes, have sir. penalties that we shouldn't have. Something going on. Y'all, hey, come on. Y'all, come on.